we have a forecast of Acme's free cash flows for the next several years. Let's put that onto a timeline. So we see that for, the forecast is $90 million in one year, $125 million in two years, and $165 million in three years. And then it says its free cash flows are expected to increase by 5% every year after three years. So that means that the year four cash flow will be 165 times 1.05, 5% more than year three. Year five would be 5% more than year four, and so on forever. Acme Corporation's weighted average cost of capital is 12%. So that's the rate at which we're going to discount cash flows. What is the enterprise value? Well, the enterprise value is the present value of these cash flows. Now that we have the timeline, that's all we need to look at. We're going to calculate the enterprise value. First of all, we have an uneven cash flow stream. So we're going to discount each one of those cash flows for the, that first three years individually and then we have the cash flows that grow at a constant rate that will give us a terminal value we'll use the growing perpetuity formula i'm going to use the year four free cash flow there divide by the r minus g that's called the terminal value and it's the value here at date three but we have to bring that back to date zero so we divide by one plus the rate raised to the three. Now to make this calculation go more efficiently for you, you can feed the first three cash flows into the NPV function if you're using a TI, or just list them if you're using it HP or BA2+. Compute the terminal value, you will get 2475. Remember that's the value that's projected as of date three, so we would still have to discount that. The first three years present value will be 297.45. I'm holding onto more digits in my calculator when I do that. Present value of that terminal value will be 1761, adding up to an enterprise value of 2,059 million or 2.059 billion.